All right, taking a look here at this Rams-Cowboys matchup on Sunday afternoon. The Cowboys hosting the Rams from AT&T Stadium uh, in Arlington, Texas. Cowboys trying to keep their playoff hopes alive here. They've lost four of their last five. They've lost three straight Bucky Brooks. While on the flip side, the Rams starting to find their groove a little bit. What's going on there in L.A.? You know, like it's really not that complicated, Rhett. Like they decided to give the ball to Ty Gurley, and the offense looks different when Ty Gurley is a major part of it. When we look at how they play in three of their last four games, Ty Gurley has over 100 scrimmage yards. That's the same Ty Gurley that dominated the game uh, for most of 2017 and 2018. And so he hasn't had a 100-yard rushing day, but he's gone over 100 total. Yeah. And I think that is the key because when he is getting over 20 touches, it allows the offense to flow better because now Jerry Goff doesn't have to shoulder all of the workload. It just flows better. And I've always said this. Ty Gurley is their best offensive player. Yep. When they feature him, it works, and it's working now in L.A. No, I think you're right, and I think uh, you know credit f to them for figuring out their offensive line a little bit, which was a liability early in the season uh, with Whitworth over at left. Then you got Corbett at left guard, Blythe at center, Edwards at right guard, and then the rookie Bobby Evans uh, at the right tackle spot. I think they've started to find a little bit of a groove, which has helped the Gurley cause here, and then it's helped in that uh, that whole stretch boot game, which we, uh, we saw a lot in in this win over the Seahawks this last week. On the Cowboys side of things, look, we're just waiting. We're waiting them, waiting for them to figure out how to beat a good team, how to win a big game when their season is on the line, because make no mistake, it absolutely is. The Eagles w winning over the Giants on Monday night, certainly putting more pressure again on the Cowboys as somebody tries to win or tries not to lose long enough in order to win the NFC East is maybe the better way to put it. There are overall talent-wise, the Cowboys are still probably a superior team. They've got so much of it. Can they put it together for 60 minutes? Can they figure out a way to keep Ezekiel Elliott engaged all game long? Because we've seen that there are vulnerabilities in the Rams' defense. They can be a little bit of a Jekyll and Hyde. You know, they play really well at times. They played really well against Seattle, got blown out against Baltimore. Which Rams' defense shows up, and can the Cowboys take advantage uh, of, the, uh, of the Rams on the ground with Ezekiel Elliott? Uh, I think will be... One of the things that we look forward to and talk about following this game. However, I just I feel like the Rams are too hot. The Rams are too hot right now, and the Cowboys can't get out of their own way. I still feel like the Rams are going to figure out a way to win this game on the road and keep their playoff hopes alive for the wild card. But I'm going with the Rams. Hey, I'm also going with the Rams. I, I think they figured it out. I think, uh, look, I think the best thing that Sean McVay has been able to do is being able to be honest. And he said uh, a couple of weeks ago, look, I was an idiot for not really feeding yep. Ty Gurley. And I think that humble admission is him recognizing the fact that I need to make sure that the engine of the car is number 30. I think that's the difference in this game. I don't believe the Dallas Cowboys can right their wrongs. Give me the Rams. All right, so we are both taking the Rams on the road uh, in what is basically an elimination game. You know, they got to win out, and the Cowboys got to feel like they have to win out as well, but it's going to be tough if they lose this one to uh, keep pace with the Eagles uh, and get that final spot uh, as the NFC East champs. So we will see, but uh, we're both taking the Rams in this one.